Okay, you guys. Um, I looked all over YouTube and uh, try to fix to see if I could fix my own iPod, but I noticed that a lot of these um, videos, all they do is they show you, um, they show you just like the basic how to. They don't show you what to do and what not to do, really. But so I decided to. Um, make a little video to show you um, anybody out there who wants to uh, fix their own iPod or anything like that um, I'm going to show you what I've learned through my own experience of fixing iPods so what you're gonna have when you have your broken iPod you know you get something like this see that Is that the logo wait for it There it is. Basically what it's saying is broken. It's dead. It's gone. You're never going to get it back. Well, that's not really true. Um, you can go on different auction sites. Um, uh, one of them is eBay. You can go buy it's either a new motherboard or a new hard drive. Um, you can get them for like, I don't know, 30 bucks. 30 to anywhere from 30, the motherboard, to like $70 and up. And your hard drive, you can get it for like forty dollars and up, probably, depending on which one you have. So obviously, this thing doesn't work. Can't work it. Can operate it. Nothing. So I get my stuff. I buy it. I have it here with me. All right. Now what do I do? Well, I'm going to show you all the pieces that will make your life easier trying to open this thing up. First of all, you're going to need one of these if you don't want to scratch your iPod up. Where do you get these? eBay or any just type in Google iPod opener or something and you'll find these things another thing you're gonna need small screwdrivers that are magnetically charged um, so you won't lose your screws when you take them off so where do you get these again you'll you you, you can either you can get a pair of, of ones flat and the other one is a Phillips and I got these on eBay also now the other two items that you will probably need is a blade like this. This helps a lot. Um, it's really thin and it'll get in between the seams. Okay, you can buy these at a hardware store or something. They usually come in packs of like 10 or something like that. Really not that expensive. And then the last thing you will need is one of these. I'm not sure if you can see it very good it's a razor blade yes people it's a razor blade now you gotta be careful um, you can smash a razor one of your dad's razors one of your own razors an old razor um, that you don't use anymore um, break it open and just pull one of these out and um, clean it off or whatever and you'll have all the tools that, tools that you need I'll show you how to use this and you gotta be careful because it's sharp take care of yourself while you're doing it because you can cut yourself if you're not careful okay so you take your iPod and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this blade and you're gonna insert it at the bottom right here at the bottom is the fastest way that I found and the best way that I found out instead of doing it from the side or from the top it's, I found that it's better to do it from the bottom so what I'm gonna do here is gonna insert it in the bottom right there in between and right there, you're going to see that it's popping up already once that I've inserted it. You can start here and then just slide it over. But right here, there's a clip. And what you do is you clip and then you lift up on the plastic. Okay? And as you're doing that, I mean, you're going to have this facing yourself, of course. I'm just doing this so I can show you. So when you're doing this, you take the blade that you took from the razor and you insert it in between the plastic and the, the back the back piece now I'm gonna turn around just so I can make sure what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop it open okay and you're gonna be working like this okay you're gonna be working like that with um, the front facing your palm so I'm just gonna do this real quick okay make sure you keep it up like that keep it open 
and take that blade and you have to place it in between the front face plate it's probably going to be the motherboard right there trust me it's no, you're not going to hurt the motherboard um, just insert it gently and then leave it and what this will do is it will keep it open but just it won't um, it's really small it's tiny it won't bother the rest of your work you know other people they're like we'll use a guitar pick or something like that but really I mean you can use it um, but it's really bulky and it'll probably fall out or something like that um, and what you'll do now um, since you're keeping this part open you'll take this plastic one the plastic tool that I showed you and you insert it right there where that you'll see there's like a white clip it's white because there's a metal bezel all around and there's little clips where the, you'll see what I'm talking about so you clip and you push in and down you heard that that's the clip that's op that's it's opening it alright so now what you do